What's going on guys? This is Kanasty3890 here. Welcome back to another episode of Oakland A's Moneyball Franchise episode number 10. We are in year 4 I believe. Yes, year 4. Well this Moneyball Franchise we cannot spend more than $25 million on the whole entire payroll for all players. Including all minor leaguers. We've done pretty well. Two of the three years we made the playoffs. Lost in World Series in year 1. Lost in the ALC ALCS in to the Yankees in year 3. Missed the playoffs in year 2. As you can see, we are at that $25 million threshold. We have a halfway... I like our team. Centered around Correa, we got him. And he has the team-friendly... Most team-friendly contract I've ever seen. $2 million a year for four more years, including this year. A good bench. A very young bullpen. It's going to be... I don't know. We'll see how the bullpen does the rotation. I like... Klein's the youngster, 21 years old. How do we get... Actually, I want to see. How do we get Klein? I don't even remember getting... Did we draft him? We did. Round 2 of the 2020 draft... The 2020 draft, and this is year 2021, by the way. <laughs> yes, this is year 2021, correct? Yes, so last year's draft. Last year's draft. You have three players on the bigs from that draft. Klein, a starter, and then two closers that we got. <laughs> we'll see how they do. Let's get into the season, boys. I I, I don't know. I'm, I, I think our offense should do well. I'm worried about our bullpen. It's young. It could be great. It could be terrible. So far, we're off to a halfway decent start, and I feel like our run differential could be just crazy bad because we'll lose some games big time because the bullpen is just terrible and they just give us no chance. But holy cow, we are 38 and 23. We're at the draft. We're tied with the at damn Astros. <laughs> but we are doing very well in regards to what I mean, both. Basically, it's. The Blue Jays are also a wild card team because one of these will be winning the division. So we have a nice comfortable lead over the wild card at least. How is our team doing? Peltier is hitting 300. That's nice to see. Three home runs only. 379 on base. A 408 slugging. He's not going to be a power hitter, but he should get on base, and that's what he's doing. Two war, which is good. Peral is only hitting 252. I'm going to move on from him soon. Correa is Correa. 321, 11 home runs. His wins of every placement is already 3.5. That's good. Santana has 20 home runs the first week of June. Jeez, dude. May he has hit 241, 10 home runs. Not too, too bad. Average, which was a little higher. Nick Senzel hit 289. Five home runs. I wish a little bit more pop from him. Estrada, the youngster, is hitting 312. The rookie from Venezuela. Joe Duggan's in 297. Again, he's not a power hitter, so he only has four home runs. Be getting on base. I'm probably going to move him to bat second. Over on um, Perala now. He doesn't play when we in the National League. And Braxton Lee, our center fielder, 250 average, three home runs. He doesn't get on base. His, his on base percentage is 17 points higher than his average. But he's only making $100,000. Pitching. Montgomery's been a stud. 2.57 ERA. Jake Junis has struggled a 4.2. Stripling's been great again. 2.7 A's off and on, off and on for th three years. Tri wow, Triggs is struggling. Klein's pitching pretty well, though. Tim Peterson's struggling mightily as a long man. Winger's been great. 2.61. Olivos has struggled. Samuels has been fine. Baggett has struggled. Bradbury has been great. And Diaz has been good. So we need, let's find someone in AAA who is pitching well. I want to, uh, let's give, you know, he's in double A, but he's pitching well. He's only 18, John Richer. Let's add him to the big league roster. He'll be our long man. Peterson, we'll send him down to triple A. How is uh, Molina doing in triple A? He's pitching okay. Um, there we go. He has a good walks per nine, which I like. So we'll give him a chance. All right, we are at the draft. We have the 26th pick in round one. Competitive balance. There's 30 picks in this competitive balance. Is like every team not spending enough money. <laughs> round two of the 26th pick. Round three, the 26th. Competitive balance, round B. We have the What the hell? That's, that's just so much. Anyway, whatever. All right, 26th pick, round one. A catcher who I know is not going to be that good. Um... A starter could have 80 walks per nine. I'm intrigued. Ooh, a catcher is a few years away. That might be good. But we have a lot of them. But we never draft based off need. But if I see a starter that could have that 80 walks per nine. Ooh, this guy already has seven. And his name is Bartolo. 
Thank you. I'm taking Bartolo. <laughs> if your name is Bartolo, you get brownie points with me. Um, all right. Let's see what else is out here now. Reggie, <laughs> Reggie Crouch. <laughs> or Crouch. Crouch. Jeez. Jesus, Kevin. Uh, Reggie Crouch has... Cr Crouch. Yes. Great fielder. Could have above average power. Let's take a chance on Reggie. God, I'm going to screw up his name. <laughs> All right, round two now. That was our competitive balance pick. All right. Could have 80 walks per nine. It's Chris Ramirez. That's easy enough not to screw up that name. Hopefully some of these pitchers pan out for us. They might play for us next year. <laughs> they really might. Ooh, this guy, could have, this guy does have a... He is a good hitter. I'm not sure how good his potential, Tom Chu's potential is, but if he can just hit, there's value in that. Ryan Kimbrough, 75 walks per nine potentially. We'll take him. And that's competitive balance round B. Oh, we have another pick in this draft. Nice, nice. Um, a second baseman who could have another good contact, above average fielding, great discipline. May not have the highest potential, but that's fine. Like, well, We can't have superstars at every position. We can't afford it, for one and two. It's just hard to have. Um, I'm going to take this guy probably. Yeah, let's just take a shot in the dark in round four. Just like our seventh or eighth pick in this draft. And actually, that's it. In round five, they didn't even get to our pick in round five. All right, how do we do? No. Bartolo. Obviously, Bartolo's overall is 69. Only 79 potential, but there's great walks per nine. Don't be fooled by the potential. Uh, Josh Klein guy who's playing for us right now. Has SC potential as well. Reggie, he's a project. 77 potential, not too good. Chris Ramirez has 86 potential. I like him a lot. 86 potential, he's already a 70 overall. Already has 74 walks per nine. That's a great stat we need. Tom Chu, who I said I don't care. I mean, I obviously want a higher potential, but take a look at that contact tool. Vision and disciplines. Vision's good, discipline's all right. Clutch is good. Durability is not too bad. Yeah, in a year or two, he might be our second baseman. He really might be. Um, Ryan Kimbrough, 73 potential, nothing too crazy there. Ramirez, that's deep potential. I mean, he can hit somewhat. And then Horace Frank, 75 potential. It's not too bad for our last pick. Um, all right, let's go <clears throat> a little further into the season. So we can get hot. Salvador Perez got traded the Brewers for Mitch Haniger and Nicholas Polito. All right. Um, Cubs interest in a trade. Logan Shore for Sean. We really don't need a uh, catcher. And that's taken on like $400,000. So thanks, but no thanks. It's, damn, our team's really freaking good. <laughs> the Angels have been killing us. So Whit Merrifield got traded, and then the Royals are cleaning house. Grant Killian and Desmond Lindsay. So a couple prospects for him. I'm not sure if we can really make any changes, but we'll keep uh, going to the trade deadline and see if we can find anyone who can help us out who's cheap. We might need a new second baseman. Escobar for Trevor May. I can't take on the money. Trevor May does a stream on Twitch, though. Fun little fact. All right, we're 69 and 42. Half game behind the freaking Astros. But we were winning the wild card pretty comfortably. Basically, eight and a half games over the Blue Jays. So our playoff chances are pretty secure. Is Perala hitting 249? Now, he is making 1.8. So if we move him, that gives us... We have flexibility. We could use Lozano... Uh, but like I'm just saying, his durability is so poor. Like he'll get tired. Like I don't know. Santana has 30 home runs in July. That's pretty good. Our offense is actually really freaking good. Braxton Lee's not a great offensive player, but he's more of a defensive guy. He's still doing his job. Um, pitching. Yeah, this Klein guy's good. Triggs is kind of struggling, but other than that, Montgomery's kind of. Cool down. He was hot now. His ERA was like 2-6 last we checked. Bullpen is hit or miss, um, but they are improving. Diaz is good. Brebby is good. And Brebby is not making much. So I think we just need a second baseman. If we take a look at like statistics for everything. Where are we? Where is it? Team rankings. Let's see where we rank. We're first in batting average. We are second in runs. We are probably top 10 in home runs. No, we're only 16th in home runs. Stolen bases were first. Stone base percentage were first, so we're efficient when we steal bags. 
Based on balls, we're fourth. We have a really good offense. Fielding percentage, we are 26. ERA, we are ninth. But let's take out national teams. And where do we rank? There's one in front of us, two, three. We're fourth in the American League, so that's not bad. Second, the last in blown saves. So our bullpen's actually been pretty good. So let's go find a second baseman. Is there any out there on the trade block? Scooter, 7.1 million. Never mind. Chad Pinder? Former A, he hasn't really hit that well this year. Eric Gonzalez, he's not even playing. Oh, whoa. Whoa. What's this dude tell you? 108,000. He can already field. He's an A potential. What team is he, Brewer? Let's talk. They don't like Peralta. They want first baseman, Pavin Smith. Eh, they actually like Pavin Smith. It's not to like. It's Pavin Smith. Um, they don't really like Nunez. Damn it! I don't know if we can get him. <laughs> I mean, I would include Alvarez for him because his kid can. The kid looks like a stud. I'm, I'm not tugging. Um. Okay, it's not gonna work. You know what? Let's just um, let's just do the old manual trade. So we can take on basically uh, right around two million dollars back on a second baseman. Um, let's see what's out there. One point eight three. Dilson Herrera. He shouldn't get on base. Yet. He gets on base a ton. His 252 average, but a 379 on base. What's his wins above replacement so far, if you're curious? Two. And we have to include something else, but I think we can get this deal to work pretty cheaply. Jonathan Johnson. All right, that almost gets it done. And... Probably just a starter, like just a guy we have. There we go, Logan Shore. There we go, and we get Dilson Herrera, our new second baseman. Also, I just realized I want to make sure we have a speed guy off the bench, and this dude's going to be it. Ike Valdez, let's add to the 40 man. Let's call him up to the show. We need to call someone down, and I'm probably going to call down one of our struggling relievers. Probably Baggett. He's only 18, so let's call Baggett down. All right, so let's put... Herrera in the lineup, and the dude is going to get on base for us. That's what I actually was having bad second. Wrist raise, no DH. Yeah, he's going to get, look at that discipline, 85 discipline. That's, that's all about walking. He gets, he walks like over 10% of the time. That's great. <laughs> he's 27, he has four years of service time. He's making 1.8. It's probably like a one-year rental, but Perala wasn't really going the right direction. 73 speed, but two stealing. <laughs> so he doesn't have any stolen bases. But that's a nice improvement. There's our bullpen. All right, let's uh, finish the season. Hopefully we can win. I mean, we're going to make the playoffs. Million dollar question is, are we going, we just lost three out of four to the Astros. That's not good. Are we going to win the division or are we going to have to play in the wild card game? Let's keep her going. Oh, let's stop. We're playing Houston now. So we have the exact same record as Houston. 89 and 60. We're now ranked ninth. First in contact, first in speed, 11th in defense, 22nd in pitch, and 27th in power. Astros ranked fourth. And yes, we have a we have a nine-game lead over the Yankees, who are the odd man out in the wild card. So we are clearly going to make that. Prospect-wise, what do we have? Anyone to shoot up the boards? Alvarez is still at 16, but he's improving. He's probably a year or two away from contributing to the big league club. Uh, Juan Nunez, one of the catchers we got. He, I mean, he can field. He could play right. He's a backup catcher right now. But, I mean, there could be more. Miguel, a center fielder. It's good speed. He's in double-A. Pavin Smith. He'll probably be traded in the offseason. Molina in triple-A. He's doing all right. And then Escobar, that first baseman, who's a project, is slowly working his way up. All right, so how is a Herrera doing? 249 average, 10 home runs, but he's getting on base. 
44 home runs. He's hitting 300. He's basically J.D. Martinez. This is Domingo Santana. He can't field, but the dude can freaking hit. He's been one of like, the best pickups. Like He's been one of our best players. We've had him for four years, and every year the dude mashes. All right. Do we play Houston again? We do not. So this is a big series. We won two out of three. Perfect. Now we have to take care of business against Seattle. We won two out of three. Then we got the Red Sox. We lost two out of three. Let's go a couple games against the Yankees. We split them. We're three games up on them. We won the division, boys. We won 90 freaking six games with a $25 million payroll. <laughs> I, I'm very happy with that. We are going to be playing the winner. No, never mind. We didn't have the best record in baseball. Cleveland did. We're playing the Red Sox in round one. Uh, let's take a look at just like the standings. We had 96 games. Indians had 99. And then the Cubs had 98. Uh, I'm happy with that. What awards did we get? Santana got MVP. 45 home runs for Domingo. Chris Sale got... That looks weird with him in the Blue Jays. Bangtai went to Donaldson. Wait. Oh, I thought that was the guy we had. Hildenberger that we used to have. He got reliever of the year. Estrada got rookie of the year. 265 average. 18 home runs. Also stole 17 bags. Not too bad for the 20-year-old Venezuelan. On base returns of 357. A win above replacement of only 1.5. Because he's pretty subpar at first base defensively. Dustin Peterson got it in the National League. Any other awards? Yeah, Silver Slugger went to Domingo at DH. Correa got Silver Slugger at short. Damn, look at all these Silver Sluggers the Astros got. Matt Olson, how did he do? 36 home runs. And that's it. Wow. The only way this episode could have been better if our draft was better. Montgomery, a 3-3 ADRA. Junis had a 2-9-4, so there's our 1-2. Junis is actually a higher overall. Let's put him one. He's been with us longer. He's a stud. I'm glad we were able to keep him. Montgomery, we know about him. Stripling had a 399 ERA. Not too bad. Triggs did struggle. Klein pitched all right for a rook. Um, for some reason, they called up Peterson, which whatever. He's our long man. Um, and they called up Baggett. Who'd they call down? We got to fix that. For our playoff roster, where is he? Is Valdez a speedster? Yep. Add to playoff roster. And then let's send down probably Peterson. I'd rather go with the youngster in the playoffs. Doesn't really matter. Um, but I want this speed. If we need a stolen base, Valdez is going to get it for us. Peltier hit over 300. Look at that hair, too. Great mullet. 301 average, 12 home runs, 32 stolen bases, a 370 on base percentage. Not too bad. A 4.7 war making $70,000. Joe Duggan hit 270, 10 home runs. His power is slowly improving, too. Not a great fielder, but does have a cannon for an arm. Uh, 16 stolen bases. There's a 1 2. Not much power there. His war was basically even. Correa, then 323, 33 home runs. Santana, 294, 45 home runs. Mejia, 253, 23 home runs. We're not going to be able to keep him after this year. However, we can get basically whatever we want in return for this kid. <laughs> Nick Senzel, 287, 19 home runs. Pretty much what he did the year before. Estrada, we saw him already. Herrera, only at 253 on base. I mean, average, but at 365 on base. So not too bad. And he plays above average fielding. And then Braxton Lee hit nine home runs, 249 average. Doesn't really get on base, but he plays good defense because of that his war was 2.2. So that shows the value of his defense. All in all, I mean, it's what's going to carry us are the middle of the order. If they can hit, I like our chances in the playoffs. That will be the next episode, boys, though. That was... Yeah, that was a good season, boys. That was a freaking good season. I'll see you in the playoffs. Hopefully we can get this get this job done. Win a, win a, win a World Series with a payroll under $25 million. I'm just laughing thinking about it. I'll see you then, boys. Take it easy. Peace.